Hola, Julieta here with the Mom Edit. Today, we're going to talk about six things to style my very petite body. And when it comes to petite people, I think there's a big range. I am only 5'1", and I like to cling to that half inch, but I'm 5'1". <laughs> and I have short legs. My styling is a little bit different to people that are like 5'4". Like to me, they're the tallest and they can do whatever they want. But in my case, I'm like, I have to do a lot of things too, to look how I want to look. Let's start with the basics, shoes. Of course, petites are like, yeah, heels, heels, heels. But what happens if you cannot wear heels all the time? I am a mom, I'm home all the time. I cannot wear heels. I have these. These are like some shoe inserts. You can find like half this or one inch, half an inch. And then you just insert them into your shoes. Then if you want to wear heels, I do really recommend pointy toe heels. So the pointy toe, it's going to make your leg longer. And we want to get as much leg as we can, like give the illusion to the eye of a longer leg. So moving on, we have the pants. It doesn't have to be a high rise. It just has to be the higher rise for your specific body. So when it comes to the leg of the jean, my favorite is a white leg, especially if I'm wearing heels or my sneakers with the, with the wedge that I showed you before. It's going to give you miles. <laughs> the third one is the top. So since we want to keep those legs long, we're going to pretend that we have like a really short torso. So it can be a sexy crop top like you have today. If you're not comfortable with sexy crop tops or showing your skin, no worries. We can do something about that. A sweatshirt, sweater, a tee that is in a crop length is going to have the same effect. You want the top to lay above your widest Part. So in my case, I have to end the top either here or here, but if I end it here, it's going to split my body and then make me look wider and shorter. Even a cropped crop jackets. So the crop jacket is going to give you also another benefit. It's going to give you an illusion of an hourglass figure. It's going to widen your shoulders and make the waist look smaller. Your hips and your legs are gonna look amazing. Numero cinco, we're going from super crop jackets to a long coat. It's the extreme for us, either super short or super long. So everybody says that a long coat is gonna make us look shorter, but it's not the truth. But we have a good base, and as long as we keep the coat open, we're gonna have a straight vertical line that is just gonna make us look miles long. Number six, cinch the waist. And this is specific to when you're wearing oversized, straight dresses or coats. This is going to give the illusion of a longer lower part. Sending the eye up here. So we cinch the waist, it defines the top and the bottom part, instead of just having this long rectangle. So Presa, there's one more. This is a double-sided tape. It works when you don't have that, those crop tops that I mentioned, like those crop sweatshirts. You can just fold the sweatshirt and tape it to keep it together. Like you don't have to be dealing with the tucking and untucking and like all that messy things. We don't want that. We want simplicity and we want to live. So you just have to stand in the mirror, you see how high you want the sweater to go or the jacket. I even do it with jackets sometimes. If it's, if, it's, if it's a lightweight jacket, I will do that too. And you tape it. This is really nice to have in your purse. I have like at least five of these strips in each of my bags. I hope these tips were helpful. That's what I do to, you know, live a better petite life. Uh, everything will be linked below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Not everybody wants to wear a sexy crop top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to say it again? Go for it. I don't know what I said. Perfect. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.